Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what I pack to travel around the world. So a lot of people have been asking me and my wife Carol what camera equipment we bring, what clothes. So going to be showing that all in this video. Last time I did a video like this was three years ago when we started full-time travel in 2019. So yeah, pretty much everything's changed. So it was about time that I did an updated video. And the majority of the things that I'm going to show in this video, we do have links for in the video descriptions of all of our videos. So if anything interests you, you can find it down there. So these are the main two backpacks that I use. This is the big backpack. So this is a packed travel backpack, 30 liter capacity. And then this is a day pack that I just got from Amazon, a pretty cheap one. And that's around 20 liter capacity. So I've had both of these for about two years now and yeah, they're still in great condition. So first I'll start off with the main backpack here, which has all the clothes. Right now it has a cover on and as you can see, it's quite dirty. So that's the reason that I use the cover to protect the backpack. So when they're throwing it on like planes or coaches, it's always usually dirty. So I don't really want the backpack to get all that dirt and the damage as well. Like even the cover here has uh, rips on it. So yeah, definitely get one of these covers. It's also waterproof too. So if you get caught in the rain, yeah, you won't wet all your belongings. So this just pretty much clips off at the back. And this is the main backpack right here. So it usually weighs around like nine, 10, 11 kilos depending, but I think right now it's around nine kilos. So in this backpack, I have this TSA lock and I have two of those. So one for the small day pack and one for this. And that just means that if uh, anyone has to open your bag at the airport, there's a special little key here that they'll have. So yeah, they can open it without destroying your bag. And the thing I like about this backpack is that it opens like a, a suitcase. So it opens like this sideways. I really like that for organization. So I have a half here and another half here. This right here is a laptop sleeve in the middle. You can put your laptop in there. I don't use it because I just put the laptop in the day pack. Right now though, I do have a towel in there. It's a microfiber towel, a little thin towel that dries very quickly. The majority of places that we stay do provide towels, so we don't use it that often, but every now and again, we have had to use it. So yeah, it is helpful. And then on this side here to the right, these are the packing cubes. So basically all my clothes are just in these two packing cubes right here. So I think these are also great for organization because uh, yeah, you can just stuff everything in there and it also makes it more compact, saves you space. So this one's cool because on this side, I can put like uh, dry clothes and then there's a part on the other side where you can put your dirty clothes and it's like odor resistant and moisture resistant. So yeah, it doesn't make your entire bag uh, stink. I got like two pieces of underwear in there right now. So on this side here, my big packing cube, I mainly use for uh, like shirts and stuff, but I do have these trousers here. So I have two pairs of these trousers, which are linen, very good for warm countries. So I have two identical ones. One is white and the other is black right here. And then here I have a white pair of shorts. So I only have uh, two shorts. I have this white one here and I'm wearing this black one right now. The shorts that I'm wearing right now are the only item of clothing that I have since 2019 when we started traveling. Everything else is brand new. <laughs> and then in here I just have uh, some light shirts that I bought recently because we were in the Middle East and a lot of places in the Middle East you can't wear like vests or anything and it was very hot so I got these linen shirts and yeah, it's been great so this isn't linen but it's still a light shirt and I have about five shirts overall which is quite a lot for me normally I'd only have like two or three but right now yeah, I have uh, five, five different shirts and two of them are long sleeve as well the other ones are a short the other three and then in here I also have a thermals haven't needed to use that because it's just been warm everywhere. But even when we visit in warm countries, sometimes we can go to some mountainous area where all of a sudden there's a huge temperature change. So yeah, that can come in handy as well. And we also used it in uh, Iceland. <laughs> we use that all the time. Keep in mind right now we're traveling to warm countries. So all these items here are mainly warm items. The colder items that we used in Patagonia and Iceland are at our parents' house. So 
if we were to go to a cold country once again. We'd probably visit our parents and swap out a lot of these warm clothes for the cold clothes because we're not going to travel around the world with both cold and warm clothes when you don't need to use them at the same time. And then this smaller one here is super packed. Like I said, you can fit a lot of stuff in these things and really like scrunch it together. So in this one, I have uh, swimming shorts. So I have this one. I just have two swimming shorts and I like these swimming shorts because they both have a uh, inbuilt boxer shorts. So they both have those. And then I have all the underwear in here. So I've got about seven pairs of boxers overall. And when we're visiting beach destinations, a lot of the time I'm just in the swimming shorts, which already have the boxes. So in a way I have about eight or nine pair of boxes come using those shorts a lot. Then besides that, I got the tank tops or the vests like I'm wearing now. So right now I have about four of these. Usually when I'm in a place like South America or Southeast Asia, I have five or six because I'm pretty much wearing these all the time. So yeah, when we visit there, I'll probably swap out an item, like maybe a t-shirt or something and get more of these. Yeah, so I just got different colored ones, light blue, dark blue, white, but they're all uh, plain just like this. And here I've got like a long sleeve t-shirt. Oh, this is another item that I've had for three years as well. Still in good condition. <laughs> yeah, so I always take that around everywhere we go. Then here I just have uh, two t-shirts. I only have two t-shirts at the moment. So once again, just uh, plain t-shirts. I usually don't buy anything with like designs. I think it's easier to mix and match the clothes with it being plain. So that's pretty much all the clothes already. Those are the two packing cubes. I just have those two packing cubes. Oh, and I have these pants as well. Kind of like uh, smarter pants. The other ones are a bit hippy looking and baggy. These are smart pants. I don't use them that often, really. Sometimes when we go to airports or colder countries, I'll use these. And then here I have a, a wet bag or a dry bag. So I haven't used this lately because where we are right now in Greece, it's, it's just never raining. But when we're in like the tropics, Philippines and stuff where there's rainstorms at any moment, yeah, I always go out with this. I don't use this day pack here. I use this instead. And that's about uh, 20 liter, I think. Yeah, 20 liter. So I've had this for over a year and it's really good. I always usually put the drone in there and the camera equipment, phone, just to keep everything safe. So that's that side done. Let's get to the other side now. So this side, I have the raincoat here. Ah, this is another thing that I've had for three years, Columbia raincoat. So I've had to use this a lot of the time as well. Like I said before, if we're in a place where we know it can rain on and off, I'll always carry this around in the, in the day pack. Then here is my Avianas flip-flops. Avianas here, Brazilian flip-flops. I always use those. I, I use those more than trainers, in fact. And my shoes, I just have one pair here, Vans. They're kind of skateboarding shoes, skateboarding trainers. And every year I usually buy a new pair and they're super durable because it's for skateboarding, right? Really durable material. So yeah, I always use Vans and they're plain as well. I like them. Then here I have uh, some belts as well. Black belt, light belt for the for the light pants and light shorts. I have about three belts like that. And these are just plastic, so it's good when we go through like the TSA in the airports. I don't have to remove my belt because there's no metal on it. So yeah, I've always used these kind of belts, a lot easier. Then here we have a toiletry bag. Also had this since the beginning of our travels. Sea to Summit, that's the brand. So in here we just have things like uh, toothpaste, obviously. We have these uh, toothbrushes. Just the basic toiletries. And then this is useful here, we have all these little pots because I think in a lot of the airlines you can't travel over, I think it's 100 milliliters maybe? I could be wrong, I'll confirm. But we have these travel size pots where we can put like shampoo and soap and then we don't have any issues passing through. They'll never confiscate it or anything. So yeah, that's 100 milliliters. So yeah, we have all different like creams and stuff in these size pots, they're pretty good. And the other things are just these here to clean our ears and a lot of the other stuff is just Carol stuff for uh, hair and products like that. <laughs> Maybe she'll go into detail with that stuff, I don't even know what it is really. Yeah, so we have that toiletry bag and then there's this other one here which is more uh, like medicine and stuff. So 
Yeah, it's just your things like paracetamol, whatever medicine you need to take. And we also have activated charcoal. We always carry this around, so if you get food poisoning or an upset stomach, this is really good to remove uh, toxins quickly. So we've got a bunch of medicine in there, like painkillers and stuff as well. I'm not gonna go into detail about the medicine. And besides that, just little travel scissors, travel size scissors, they come in handy. Nail cutters as well. And yeah, that's about it. Also some aftershave in there. I didn't even know that was in there. <laughs> and this bag also has this other little compartment here. I don't think I'm using it for anything right now, but you can put like underwear or socks in there. And then on the front, I have this other pouch at the top. And right there we have uh, this thing for working out that we really haven't used lately, we should do. It's just resistance bands. So for exercise, and there's things where you can pin it to your door frame, and you can do like back exercises, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so they're really good, but we've just been traveling around swimming and stuff So we haven't really done that kind of working out yet, but I have that in there and Then there's some other compartments at the front oh, I have this which is one of those uh, Cushions for the airplane that you put around your neck and it's good because it's an inflatable one You just blow in air and yeah, it doesn't take up space because when you remove the air super thin so that's good as well to not take up too much space then other than that just got some face masks never know which country you might need those lately the world's kind of seeming more back to normal now barely need to use masks anywhere in the countries we're going to anyway usually only on like public transport airports even being on some planes lately where you don't need it in the middle east but obviously with the current situation you still gotta take it around because you never know when you might need it so that's it for that backpack Kind of crazy all the stuff you can uh, fit in there, but really love this backpack. Had it for two years, like I said, zero damage, possibly because of the cover. But yeah, I'm not looking for any other backpack right now. Really like this backpack. Now on to the date back here. So the fabric of this, it's almost uh, like jeans. So also very durable. I think this was only like 25, 35 dollars on Amazon. So. Yeah, really cheap. In the front pocket here, I just have some headphones. So one for my laptop and another one for my iPhone. And this other compartment here, right now I've got suntan lotion, 30. So that's over 100 ml. We don't take that between the countries. In the country we buy it and then, yeah, just use it up and then get rid of it. I have this face one as well that me and Carol have been using. So that's like 50. We put that on every day. That's why lately we never really get burned, even though we're out in the sun all the time. So yeah, that's good for protection. Don't want to damage the skin too much, right? Since we're always on beaches. And I have a big thing here, which is a uh, turmeric and multivitamins. I just mix them all together in this one spot. So yeah, turmeric and multivitamins are, are good to take. And then here, just a little roll on deodorant for me. This bag also has uh, water holders as well. Not very big though, but fit like a little bottle of water in there and then in the main compartment here I have the sunglasses that I bought recently usually just walk around with that on my head not in the backpack and here I have a light hoodie so I won't really take that out with us all day especially if we're in a warm place but yeah when I'm getting on like planes or coaches when you don't know how much they're gonna crank up the AC I use that or if it's just a bit cooler at night I might end up using that here's just a thin beach towel we use that all the time since we're always on beaches. Just got one of those. This right here is a must, uh, a travel adapter. Obviously different countries that we go to have different kind of plug outlets, sockets. So yeah, this has pretty much them all. Universal travel adapter, need one of those. And this has been good for our phones as well. We get a huge uh, cable, a really long cable. The ones that come with your phones are usually quite small. Sometimes the power outlets aren't near our bed and we want to mess around with our phones in bed. Sometimes they're far away, depending on the hotels and places that we're staying. So this one's like a really huge cable and yeah, it helps a lot. Here I have a little tech pouch, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, that just has stuff like the chargers for my camera gear. Also has uh, clippers here to cut my hair, my beard. So that's like a little travel one. So runs without cable, just on battery. Have a little torch here. 
had to use that a few times. We have our power bank here as well, which is really useful, especially on our travel days when we don't really have time to charge our phones or anything in a wall. We can just uh, charge it with this thing. I think it can charge your phone probably about four times. You can get different sizes as well. You can get other ones that are bigger and heavier and you'll be able to charge your things multiple times, way more than four times. And then I have a SSD, which is just storage for our uh, videos so that I don't have to store everything on my laptop. Also a backup as well. It's always good to back up the files with the videos that we're making so that if I lose a laptop, I don't lose everything right. So that's really good. And an SSD is super light, very small as well. If you just get an external hard drive, a normal one, they're like heavy and you can break them easily because they have like components. This one, if you drop it, probably won't break. So that's really good. A lot more expensive though. And that's about it in here. Uh, just uh, some spare batteries for the GoPro, which I'm filming on now. And that is the main camera that we use, by the way, for vlogging GoPro Hero 9, which I'm filming this video on right now. Then here I just have the MacBook, MacBook Pro 15. I got this uh, less than a year ago, really good. And it's uh, super fast for editing, even with like heavy footage, really good laptop. A lot better than the Dell that I had before, Dell XPS 15. I prefer this a lot more. And the editing software that I use for this video is Final Cut Pro, which is the Apple editing software. You pay about $300 one time and then you can just use it forever. So that's what I've been using for these videos as well. And here I have the drone. So this is what I use for all the cool aerial shots. This is a DJI Mavic Air 2. So it's a pretty small drone. It's been perfect though. I've had that for about two years now. No issues whatsoever. The GoPro 2 I've had for ages, so I haven't had to invest in any new camera gear for ages, though, so that's awesome. And besides that, I just have um, some earplugs here. I have a problem with my ears where I can't go very deep. That's why you never really see shots of me swimming really, really far down. Because, yeah, I have like pressure issues, but I can use these. And then I also have a rain cover here for this bag. So just a small rain cover that covers this. It came with the bag when I bought it. And the last thing is just this little thing here that's uh, waterproof that has all the important documents. So might have like some insurance papers. Oh, by the way, a lot of people ask us what travel insurance we use. We use uh, World Nomads. We've been using that in all the countries that we visit. So yeah, I have a link in the video of World Nomads as well. A lot of other travel vloggers and travelers use World Nomads. So in here, I just have other things like uh, passports as well. So since it's waterproof, that's good because you don't want to get your important documents uh, wet if anything happens. And there's just other things in here like vaccination card that we've needed lately, um, Carol's uh, driving license, things like that. Marriage certificates, never really have to use that, but just in case, birth certificates as well, our birth certificates, copies. So we have all that kind of stuff in there. Yeah, so that's pretty much everything. I think I got everything covered. So besides all that, the phone that I use is the iPhone 12 Pro. I also use this for a lot of the shots when you see us doing uh, zoom shots. I use this, so pretty much every video that we film, I have B-roll footage on, on this. I've also used it at night as well because the GoPro is really bad at night. So like recently when we walked around Santorini at night and went to a bar, I use this phone instead. Audio is not so great, but it's usable if you do some editing. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and maybe it gave you some ideas of things that you can pack or different ways you can pack if you're gonna be traveling soon or if you're planning to travel full time. Carol's gonna be doing the same kind of video, but from a female perspective. So check out that video. If you like this one, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We're on Facebook now, by the way. Follow us on Facebook too. And uh, we'll see you around.